Hi, this is Tamim Azizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video series, we'll be going over how to perform various circuit breaker tests with the Vanguard CT7000 and CT8000 S3. Before we get started testing, let's take a closer look at the CT7000 S3. The CT7000 S3 is a digital circuit breaker analyzer that's available with three or six contact timing channels. It offers three digital transducer inputs and three resistor type transducer inputs. The unit also features three voltage monitoring channels. These are labeled as V1, V2, and V3. The V1 voltage channel is dedicated to monitoring the substation's DC supply or coil voltage, ranging from 0 to 255 DC or peak AC. V2 and V3 are digital channels dedicated to monitoring the voltage presence or absence status of the circuit breaker auxiliary switches. The CT7000S3's external trigger input can automatically start a timing with the detection of a voltage, and the initiate circuit energizes the circuit breaker's open or closed coil. The CT7000S3 also has a large backlit LCD screen that's visible in bright sunlight, which makes it ideal for use out in the substation. And it has a built-in 4.5-inch wide thermal printer, which is very convenient for printing test records and graphs in the field. The built-in printer makes this an outstanding standalone test device, but it can also be computer controlled via USB or an optional Bluetooth interface. The unit also has a USB flash drive interface that can be used to conveniently transfer test records and test plans. But if you don't have a flash drive handy, it can also store up to 200 test records and 100 test plans internally, which you can later transfer to a computer or a flash drive. The CT7000S3 comes furnished with a complete set of testing cables. First, we have a set of contact and contact extension cables, which are used to monitor the circuit breaker contact state. Also, a digital transducer cable, as well as a resistor type transducer cable, are included. Next in the set are V1, V2, and V3 cables used to monitor circuit breaker auxiliary switches or the DC power supply. Additionally, the included initiate cable connects the CT7000S3's initiate circuit to the circuit breaker's open and closed coil and the safety ground cable is used to connect the CT7000S3 to substation ground. Lastly, the included power cord connects the unit to an AC source. 